I used to work with kids. That was the best job I ever had other than this. I was a, uh, a noon hour supervisor at an elementary school. Uh, I would go for an hour a day while the teachers ate lunch and make sure the kids didn't die. I was pretty good at it. And uh, I did that for three years. And then on my last day, I told the kids, I said, I'm not going to be back next year. And a bunch of them started crying because they wanted me on their Red Rover team. Uh, not to brag, but I was the best at Poye Elementary, that whole Red Rover, Red Rover, we call Kevin over. They said that once. <laughs> it was a fucking bloodbath. But working with kids was great. I would always try and find ways to relate to the kids. I found this one viral video I told them I'll check out. It was about a tortoise named Jonathan. Jonathan is the oldest documented living creature on the planet. He's in his 180s. And the video was cool, except one line really bugged me. The narrator said, Jonathan has survived two world wars. And I feel like they're giving him too much credit. Um, he wasn't fighting in those world wars. We would have read about that for sure. Just a tortoise crawling up out of a foxhole with a machine gun, just mowing down the Germans. It's like, no, in all honesty, he was at a menagerie eating lettuce. Um, it's not nearly as heroic. And technically, by that logic, I survived 9-11. <laughs> but I don't put it on my resume. Um, yeah, I was always worried that I was going to uh, uh, lose my job because I do curse a lot, and I was worried that I would let one slip out, and that's just a big no-no when you work with kids. Uh, I've had a pretty foul mouth since I was uh, about seven, and I went on a moose hunting trip with my dad and my uncles, and I learned all these cool new words I'd never heard before. And I came back and I taught to my brother and all of my friends. And a week later, we're at this barbecue and there's this tank filled with live crab and this lady and her daughter are poking their finger at the crab and pulling away and they're poking their finger at the crab and pulling away. And my little four-year-old brother walks up. He says, I'd watch your fingers, ma'am. They pinch like cocksuckers. <laughs> Which is funny to me now, but at the time I was like, that's coming back on me. <laughs> um, it's unlikely he picked that up at daycare. Um, I remember the first time my sister swore in front of my parents. It was a, a terrifying moment. Uh, we were at the dinner table, and she was talking about her softball game that day. And she said, yeah, and then I struck the bitch out. And I don't know what happened next, because my dad threw me at her. <laughs> and when I came to, we were a happy family again, so. But working with kids was great because if they'd break those school rules, they'd be so quick to rat each other out. Uh, one day this kid came sprinting up to me. He goes, Kevin, on the backfield, Ray swore, Ray swore. And I said, hold on. Did Raymond say a bad word or is there a race war on the backfield? <laughs> because they only gave me a vest and a whistle, dude. Uh, I am ill-equipped to deal with racial tension at this time. Uh, I was also a janitor. That's another job I've had. Uh, but that wasn't for the money. That was strictly for the pussy. I, um, <laughs> no, I, was, uh, I was a janitor at the high school I graduated from, and that was great because I got to make daily eye contact with the teachers who told me I wouldn't amount to anything. Um, yeah, that was sweet. Uh, one day a teacher came up to me. She told me she could smell pot smoke coming from behind the gym and asked me if I would shoo away whoever was there. And I said, sure, of course, because who at a high school is more respected than the janitor. So I uh, went out behind the gym and I saw te two teenage boys standing there smoking pot. And one of them had a, a, a joint in his hand, the other was holding a bag of weed. And I remember the story when I was a kid, my buddy Chris's dad caught him smoking cigarettes. And to teach him a lesson, he stood there, made him finish the pack. So what I did is I stood there and I made those kids watch me smoke the whole bag. <laughs> I was like, you guys should cut back on this shit. You could end up a janitor. <laughs> and then I swept it up, because that's, I mean, 